Olympian Jared Rome passed away. Now, according to the Snohomish County Medical Examiner's Office, he died from acute fentanyl intoxication. I want to show you the tweet that came from the Medical Examiner's Office earlier tonight. It says he was found dead in his hotel room off Quilcita Boulevard in Tulela back on September 21st. It goes on to say that death again was acute fentanyl intoxication. But as you read on, it appears that this was accidental as well. Now, from what we're hearing, Jared was in town at the time because he was being inducted in the, into the Snohomish County Sports Hall of Fame. According to the Everett Herald, he went out with friends near the Tulalip Resort and Casino, started not feeling well. Friends checked up on him and found him unresponsive. Again, this was late September. Now, while we know that fentanyl was involved, it remains unclear how it got into his system. But as we've heard before, we've done lots of stories here on Q13 about this fentanyl crisis. It has become a widespread and deadly problem in our state. Fentanyl products are all over our state of Washington. Uh, last year, we seized over 16 kilograms of fentanyl, uh, which if you break that down, it's over 8 million dosage units. Uh, which is more than the population of the state of Washington. Now, Jared Rome is a graduate of Marysville Pilchuck High School, a six-time NCAA Division I All-American at Boise State, two-time national champion representing the U.S. during the Athens Games of 2004 and the London Olympics in 2012. Most recently, he was promoted to full-time assistant coach in August at Boston University. Jared Rome was just 42 years old. David, back over to you. All right, Brian, thank you. This is not the first time we've seen this type of tragedy.